Hi, and welcome to lecture 18. In this lecture, we're going to start off really easy just talking more about categorization. As you know from the previous lecture, we can categorize things in a number of different ways. This slide shows you that there are superordinate categories, the top level, so in this case it's furniture or vehicle, and then below that there are a number of basic level categories. So for example, under furniture, a basic level might be chair or table or bed, basic level, right? The first words we typically use. And then underneath the basic level, there are these subordinate categories, and those are more specific. So instead of just chair, it could be a kitchen chair or a dining room chair. Instead of bed, it could be a single bed or a king size bed, right? In this segment, I want to tell you about the research of two really cool researchers, Eleanor Roche and Jim Tanaka, and the questions that they asked about categorization. So let's start with Eleanor Roche, who is at UC Berkeley. And she asked the question, okay, what level of categorization do we use most? So she did a very classic, straightforward study. She showed people pictures of things and simply asked them to name them. So um, when they saw, say, this picture, would they say VW bug? Would they say car? Would they say vehicle? When they saw this picture, would they say bird or hummingbird or animal or etc.? And what did Roche find? Well, people use the basic level category almost all the time. So with these pictures, um, uh, people would on average say chicken, dog, computer, chair, example. So we use basic level most. And then Jim Tanaka from the University of Victoria asked uh, whether that was true all of the time. And what Jim did was to look at expertise. Does your expertise change the way you categorize things? So uh, Jim Tanaka found a bunch of bird experts and non-bird experts and asked them to categorize pictures of birds. So here are some birds. If you asked me to categorize this first one, I would probably say bird. The second one, I'd probably say bird. The third one, I might say penguin, and then probably bird, ostrich, flamingo, bird, chicken. You see, I'm not a bird expert, but mostly I say bird. But when he had bird experts look at these pictures, they would say sparrow, hawk, pelican, crow, or corvid they would say, not the basic level category, but experts give you the subordinate level categorization. Because experts know more about a particular category, they can categorize things more finely in a more detailed and refined level than the rest of us can. So the way we, in which we categorize things depends on how much expertise we have with that category. Thanks.